Okay, hey, it's uh, it's complete. I got home from work today and looked at it, and it turned out real well. So here we go. There's what it looks like. Still on the bed. I haven't popped it loose. I'll probably record another video and try to get the two blended. Went once I get it off, get the uh, sport material off. So what fun! It's done. One ultralight auto gyro rotor blade tip segment. Now, I didn't get to explain much to y'all about how, how I was setting this up to do it in segments, but basically you can kind of see a socket right in there. There's an inner segment that will stick in here 100 millimeters and come out 100 millimeters. There'll be an exterior segment that'll slide over that. All this will be glued together. Each segment will extend the length until we get the length we're wanting, which presently I'm thinking about 16 intermediate segments of each interior and exterior, which would put the overall length at roughly uh, 3,600 millimeters or 3.6 meters. Um, it's almost 12 feet. Um, for each rotor blade. I think it was a pretty good idea. And once you take into consideration that the PLA is pretty freaking strong as it is, make this out of carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate or nylon, probably polycarbonate because nylon shrinks. It might be a little difficult to fit properly. Um, might make a pretty decent ultralight rotor blade that can be made, you know, relatively cheaply. Um, don't know. Carbon fiber polycarbonate reinforced, I mean, the carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate filament is kind of expensive for a kilogram. But I've been hunting around for bolt rolls, so I figure get it in the right bolt, be able to print, you know, complete segments without any interruptions, and uh, perhaps we can get it cheap enough to wear instead of spending, you know, thirty-six hundred to five thousand dollars for a set of hand laid um, composite blades, maybe we can print our own. And if it's not too much cheaper, have the fun of doing it. If it's strong enough. Don't want to fly with it if it's not strong enough, that's for sure. But there it is. Interesting little side note. There's a spider stuck in the uh, thing. I uh, done a 30% infill in the uh, infill webbing. Doggone thing landed and got stuck under it. A little bitty tiny one. Not gonna affect any weight or affect the uh, print, but it it was funny to me to think of a tiny spider getting st stuck in a web that wasn't of its own making. Maybe that'll make make you laugh a little bit.